Hello everybody, and welcome back. I am Mr. JP, and the game is out of all, as you can see. Uh, big thank you to the viewers and subscribers out there, everybody getting involved, it's lovely to see. Uh, thank you to everyone who's clicked the subscribe button, it's great. Uh, and thank you to everyone who was in the Discord last night. Uh, we, we were experimenting with the whole streaming thing, and uh, yeah, we had a look at each other's games in Out of Awe, and uh, good chat. And, yeah, it was fun. It was good. Very good. So yeah, I'm getting really excited. Tomorrow's update day. Um, and uh, things are changing big style in the other version, the uh, development version. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some of those coming through to the mainstream gonna be good gonna be good um, also enjoying playing with the bulldozer a lot I uh, I decided to stop messing around I, I was doing a lot of experimenting and not getting anywhere fast so uh, today we're gonna get somewhere fast and we're gonna load up some hoppers if I can stop screwing around and get some stuff actually into them All right. helps if you have your blade adjusted correctly which I did not. Right, there we go. Now we're just starting to get some stuff in. That's more like it. So I'm going to just bulldoze uh, into this hopper until I either run out of material or run out of frame rate. Since uh, I'm hoping these updates are coming and going to fix the frame rate, and that's going to be excellent. Oh, I'm so excited! I really am. Like, like, really am excited for it. Um, such a muppet, really. I am such a muppet really. But, so yeah, what we're doing today, I'm just bulldozing material down into this hopper, as you can see, and missing occasionally by the looks of things, but it doesn't matter because there's a conveyor beyond it. And apparently conveyors work like hoppers, so I'm going to be testing that out at some point as well in the future. Um, first I'm going to clear this area and extend these hoppers, and that's probably when I'll test it when I'm rebuilding, rather than uh, take apart something which I literally built this morning. So yeah, I've spent the last couple of days sort of testing and playing. Uh, the stream in the Discord was I think about 12 hours long or something, uh, and I was awake for 48, so last night I had to crash out early. Uh, so I apologise for the lack of content. Um, yeah, been playing with positioning of vehicles as well, I've moved all the vehicles away from where, where I'm working with the bulldozer in an effort to try and uh, save some frames, turn, turn down all of the detail, levelling the graphics as well. Um, so I'm going to bulldoze until the frame rate drops into this machine then I'm going to do the same thing into the other machine with the graphics on high and see what the difference is in the amount I get loaded uh, in two separate gaming sessions so uh, yeah that's what this uh, parallel machine is about it's uh, comparison and experimentation really So yeah, just pull those in away. Um, it's a lovely smooth action on the dozer now. Glad it's been fixed up because uh, it's kind of uh, annoying me. Uh, I need to try out the small bulldozer again and test that. Um, one to see if it's safer on dropping into hoppers on the FPS thing, uh, and two to see if it actually works properly. Um, Likewise, I need to get the grader back out, I need to have a go with that, I need to bust some more roads. There's a few things I need to do. Uh, for a very simple game, there's a lot to do in it. Um, you really can uh, spread yourself too thin across too many jobs and find that you're not getting anywhere quickly, because that's what was happening with me earlier. Uh, being really tired might, in, during my last uh, gaming session probably didn't help. Um, but, I'm quite liking it this bulldozer loading method. It's working out quite nicely. Let's take another cut. And lift the blade slightly and just carry that bundle of fun on the front of the blade down to the hopper. And because I've got flooring in I can't cut too deep when I get to the hopper. Um, and in it goes. See how much we've got in there. Ooh, and as you can see, all those balls are really affecting my frame rate. Jerky, jerky. I like jerky. I used to like beef, beef jerky. It's got too much pepper on it, though. I, I want some plain salted beef. That'd be nice. Right, 
need to look into salted meats. I don't get much variety in my diet, so uh, anything that's like uh, plain, no preservatives, no herbs, no spices, uh, is always good. So yeah, we're starting to get a, a significant amount of material into that hopper now. Frame rate's recovering, which is a good sign. Cut a bit more from back here, I think. I'm just literally skimming and collecting up that ball of uh, material on the front of the dozer blade. Oh, we're going to rise out. I got too eager. I'll just let it pile up there. Reverse up. And top it off. So you just sink the blade in as you reach the ridge. Drive forward and push it all forward. Because I've got flooring beyond, it doesn't matter if we keep the blade down. It just means we'll suddenly drop as we hit the hopper. So yeah, I've got two different hopper designs here. Um, this one's got a ramp on the front of it. The other one doesn't. Uh, the other one's made up of two hoppers side by side with a divider. This one's a single. Uh, I'm just comparing the performance of the two. Thinking about different hopper designs, different ways of doing business, that kind of thing, you know. The constant improvement, constant testing. The way my gaming life is. hill off and into that gully. Maybe straight. Yeah, actually, I'll come straight in and take it straight into the hopper. Why not? Should be able to do it. Nice and easy. Like that. A little bit of spill won't matter. Like one one thing I came to a realization during my. Uh, exhaustion was uh, why am I worrying about the waste? Look at the size of this map. It's not like there isn't more out there. So uh, I'm not really too worried now if I, I spill a bit or it deletes a bit. Big deal. <laughs> but if, if it was processed stuff that's a different matter but before it hits a hopper I mean well why worry? going quite nicely actually, quite impressive, the frame rate hasn't dropped off of me yet. Um, anyone who wants to uh, join the Discord is uh, welcome, I'll leave a link below in the uh, description. And uh, shall see if it can get you know a little bit more busy in there, compare some notes. We learned a lot of interesting stuff, but oh dear. Okay. Enough of this. I have had enough of your shenanigans. I don't even know if this is going to work. It's the first time I've done this to uh, clean out a hopper. So uh, I think I'll leave the detonator down on the ground this time. Yeah. Right. That's cleared the hopper. Let's see if it stays clear this time. Might just have been leftover stuff in there from when I uh, 
built it. All it takes is a single voxel and you'll start getting that build up. One tiny little piece of dirt sticking through the edge of the hopper. If not, I've got to go underneath and dig it out a bit more. We shall see. Let's uh, get in and uh, put another load through that. See what goes on. What shenanigans it's got for me. Any shenanigans? No shenanigans. That's good. So I can get a bit more of that triangular chunk out of the way. Yeah, I'm from over here this time. So yeah, all I've been doing is working straight towards the hoppers from the top of the ridge behind me and just pushing the material down the hill in this fashion. Like that. Each time I push a little bit more of the top of the pile down, it all moves forward. Uh, it means it mixes it all up quite a lot, as you can see from the bucket. Just then, there was a white line. That's high in lithium. Um, but there, there's, there's quite a bit of different stuff out mixed in amongst this, pay dirt, that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah. Should be interesting to see how much ends up in the machine. Very interested to see how much ends up in the machine. Sorry I'm not so colourful and chatty today. Uh, being tired limits my more colourful behaviour, luckily. Um, I have started getting a bit more friendly with the Dream. I, 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 I was staying away from explosives because they were a fast way to crash the game, but they don't, don't, don't do it anymore, so... Sorry about that stutter, but there was a frame rate stutter in, in the game that made me wholly nervous there for a second. So yeah, a bit of a damp day outside. Not particularly impressed with that. Got some wood to move in a minute, which is why I'm loading this machine. I'm just going to load it up, turn it on, and AFK. The reason I don't have it running when I'm loading is that it's generating uh, balls and it's using calculation times. It could be used to stop my system from crashing. Ooh, that was 10 FPS. Ooh, we're getting close to the limits. Very close to the limits. Let's see if I can get the rest of this triangle out there. Ooh, 11, 37. Ooh. Playing a dangerous game, playing a dangerous game here. Might lose 15 minutes of gaming if, if it crashes because I haven't done a save, but I don't want to lose the material that was near the hopper by saving and then reloading and the machinery to be empty and us to have no result, I'd rather refilm it. Because uh, I, I do occasionally uh, dump takes and refilm stuff. Um, it's not all record it and post it up like I uh, used to be doing. Uh, but I'm still not doing editing. Um, I need to do editing and probably need to get into that. It might help with the length of the videos for uh, the more tutorial related things. The gameplay ones are just raw gameplay and that's the way it is. You get the truth about the game that way. Uh, the moment you start editing gameplay you give people a false impression of how long things take. Uh, there is a time-lapse camera in this game. I need to play with that. Maybe I'll play with that. You'll know when I do because I'll put it in the title. Or try to try to, try to be more uh, informative than I have been in recent days. Um, we've been comparing notes in the Discord and uh, that kind of thing. Um, so uh, probably worth joining if you want some hints and tips of the game, or you want to talk to people who are playing, compare notes, see what's working, what isn't. You never know; you might learn something new. We might learn something new. We'll all improve as gamers and improve gaming. Who can tell? One of our guys is talking a lot with the uh, NMC Discord, I do as well, um, so we get news from there, um, it's it, it's good times, I'm loving the game, I'm loving the community, um, it, it's a lot of fun guys, it's a lot of fun this, um, yeah, uh, I can't believe the response either, there's, there's quite a lot of views on the channel for the first month and uh, I've got subscribers which is Something I never really expected. I'm going to be honest. It's all a bit, all a bit of a surprise. Nice surprise. Like it. Like the feeling of community. I'm glad people are finding the uh, videos useful. Uh, glad of the variety as well. We've got people from America, uh, people from the UK, 
uh, one of my videos has got a comment from a guy from what appears to be South Africa. So yeah, we're getting all round. Got Vietnamese as well. So hi, hi to everybody who's viewing my videos. Thank you for viewing. Uh, that's important. Thank you to all the guys who have subscribed. That's also important. And it's free, you know. Um, if you don't want to get disturbed by all the posts from me posting all my uh, gameplay and stuff, uh, just uh, mute the notifications, you know. I'll just sit there in the background as one of those channels. Uh, perhaps a point of reference for when you get stuck. Oh, 8 frames a second. Oh, okay. I, I saw 7 and 8 frames a second in the corner, so I'm going to stop playing that game now with that machine. And uh, just back up the hill. So as you can see, I've been going in with the dozer and just cutting steps in. Uh, and everyone will go, oh my god, what are you doing? You're bulldozing your way through a lithium deposit. Well, yes. At least the bottom of it. Look at the size of the bottom thing. It's huge. So what I'm going to do is bulldoze a step into the front here and then get up here with a loader. Probably extend the hopper down to the machine and just start pumping it through with the loader. Um, or I might extend the hoppers. Don't know yet. But uh, that's that machine out of the way anyway. So, oh yeah, we've got some lag, screens jerky, oh we're still, still in 24 frames a second territory, no wonder. So yeah, I've parked all my vehicles over by the cell point that I'm not using, so that's the dumper truck and the fuel truck and the roller are over there. And uh, yeah, so everything's been going into this machine hopper, just going to see what, what condition the hopper's in. Oh, that probably was really full. That explains where all my FPS has gone. They need to increase the speed that these uptake or make it so that those balls when they go in the hopper create a bulk fill level that rises in the hopper. But I've heard these things are coming. I'm hoping it's the next update. Oh, I'm so excited. I really like... I'm like a little kid. I need the loot. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is the other hopper. And uh, I'm just killing a bit of time to let that fully fill so we can get a good result from the uh, measurement on the drum. And I've been doing the same thing over here, and I've been playing with hopper designs, and I've come up with this crazy menagerie of a thing. And uh, it seems to work quite well. Quite impressed with it. Um, so yeah, you bulldoze down the hill, just like I've been doing, into the hopper. And so, if I go around here, we'll visit the waste output in a minute. Stuff comes down into the hoppers, goes through here, and this is two right turns. And you can see on the back of a right turn, there's a conveyor, it's the same on the left. And it seems like you can plug them together. Because I've got them plugged together there, and they seem to work. And over here, we've got another couple of corners, conveyor going up, two machines at the top there, and the grizzly line going off into the grizzly. Uh, I, I left this platform down here, because it's actually aligned with the grizzly, so that one's actually built to the grid of the grizzly. Uh, so I can come back down here and... Uh, reinstate it at any time as this mine gets deeper. We've got a lithium deposit just in here as well. So that'll make each layer that I take out into the mine more efficient with the more deposits that you open up, you see. Um, might go into underground, but uh, currently I'm surface ripping this one. We'll see about underground. I'm waiting for some specialist underground vehicles, you know, low slung loaders, tunneling gear, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, up here, got my waste out, and I, I've sort of been doing a bit of adaptation. Should be a 500 loader parked up there. It is. It's 501, sorry, 501 loader. And as you can see, I got ramped down. Found a little peak to divide the two up because it's waste material. I'm not worried about the flat spot where it sort of gets jammed and disappears. And it just piles up into neat little heaps either side of that. And when it gets up to there, I'll probably delete the side ones, let it run out a bit more, delete the top one, delete that one, delete that one, let it bounce out again, probably put that one back on, pile up the rest of the pile, and then take it all, all the way back down the hill until it's piling out here, delete one, build it back again, so that I create a nice even waste pile in the background here, mainly for looks. <laughs> Just, just for the look of the mine, but it'll make a nice step there. I need to tidy all of this up with a bulldozer. That's a coal deposit. I really should get in at that. All right, let's see. Machine's fully laden. Let's go and have a look. Um, yeah, so you, as you can see, you have to watch out for build-ups and material blocking your hoppers, like what happened to me earlier. But Dreamite's a good way. It doesn't destroy uh, your blocks or anything, unless you leave demolition mode on, in which case it becomes 
anti-building material, which is kind of handy. But I, I salvaged everything that I've deleted, uh, purely for the money. Let's see how much is in here. Well, hey, 13,000 loaded. I think it's more efficient on the FPS safety to load with the loader. Uh, but it is pretty quick <laughs> using the dozer once you've got it set up. Setting all of this up is what takes the time. But as you can see from the uh, viewpoint, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a weird way of going. So this is the time lapse. Uh -huh, that's how you move it around. Aha, <coughs> uh -huh, it's right click turn. Got it. Now we can fly. Way. This is what I saw in uh, the uh, Discord stream, and uh, I rather like it. Just fly up a bit higher. Du -du 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 -du. And so now, if I get high enough, I get, I'll be able to take a screenshot of the whole area. Okay. Hmm. I do like it. I like it a lot. Screenshot taken. Hmm. I'm going to play with that a bit more later. Ah. See if we can get a time lapse video of the whole area as I'm bulldozing. That'll be fun. Or some time lapse photos. I don't know how it works. If anyone's played with it, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll probably be playing with it a bit later on. So, waste materials going up there. And good stuff should be going out this way. Yeah, we got lithium going out, which is nice. Very, very nice. So we just uh, yeah, brilliant. Okay, so got a line of reds to divide up the production. Um, so this is where I'm going to leave this video. Um, probably going to come back. A little bit later, I'm going to be getting the excavator out, so uh, I'll probably film a bit about that when I do. Uh, still a bit more to come off this hill yet. Once I've got that run where the dozers park down to the height of this floor, that's when I'm going to get the excavator out. That's when we're going to have a play with that. Um, so, uh, thank you very much again uh, for all of the comments and advice and encouragement. It's been brilliant. You guys are the best. Uh, thanks to all the viewers and subscribers. Even the folks who aren't getting involved. Just the fact that you're viewing, subscribing, liking videos. It it really is opening up my world. Um, and it's nice. I like it. And so I thank you for that. Uh, you're making someone very happy. Uh, and enriching a life. You really are. Uh, so thank you very much everybody. Uh, hopefully show some more progress in the next episode. This is a very grateful Mr. JP. Signing off for the moment.